through to your friends, wake up somebody, let them know that the command of your day prayer has started and God is set to change our lives for the better. Hallelujah. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Lift up your voices and appreciate God for the privilege of knowing him. The privilege of relationship. Father, we give you all the glory. Lord, we appreciate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you, Father, for what you do with us consistently at this prayer mountain. Jesus, we give you all the glory for answers, for miracles, for solutions. Father, we bless your name. We honor you. Thank you, Father, because you are not a prayer storing Father. You are a prayer answering God consistently have proved that. Father, we return all the glory and honor to you in the name of Jesus. And for what you are said to do today, we we'll give you all the praise in Jesus' name we are praying. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. God's has declared today as our night for realization of visions and dissolving delays. Lift our voices and make demands on God. Father, this place of supplication, I connect the unction to tackle every form of delay around my life. Father, this place of prayer, Father, handle every delay. Father, every break the devil has applied on my leg, let the break break in the name of Jesus. By all means, give me solution. Give me answer in the name of Jesus. And regarding your servant, we ask so God that you use him mightily to be answer to every question in the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Again, pick your phones. Send the links to them. The links are displayed already on the screen. Let them know that something is happening here today. With Jesus' joy, put your hands together for Jesus as welcome the priest. Lord,
somebody celebrate God with a big clamp wherever you are. It is command today midnight prayer. You may be seated. We serve a covenant God and we're here to meet with him on this covenant altar in the name of Jesus. Please pick up your phones, your devices and put a call across to loved ones. Connect them to what God is set to do on this altar today and your testimony is the next. Let's receive a couple of testimonies as we make progress in this segment. AC from Port Harcourt. He or she says, I am an MBBS holder. My mother had had chronic cough for over three years. The cough is severe, sometimes productive. She had visited specialists in a federal medical center with um, radiological and other results, but no relief was in sight. When I visited her, I observed her at night and saw signs, of su signs suggestive of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I knew it was an incurable, and I knew it was incurable, and it gave me a grave concern. She joined Command the Day Midnight Prayer. After the instruction from the senior pastor during the crossover night from March to April, that people will, should write and burn what they never wanted in their lives. My mom wrote the cough from the following day till now until eternity. No cough. We are still in shock because as a doctor. We, 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 are, we rarely believe miracles, but it seems I have seen one. To God alone be all the glory. God Give the Lord a big clap of hand. He rarely believes miracles, but he has to believe this one. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. Mrs. S.O. from Bonny Island said, Above only greetings to the commanded day midnight prayer family. Sometime in the second week of February 2024, or he now, my wife introduced me to this altar of prayers okay i always hear her start praying whenever it's 11 30 p.m it was a little bit of a surprise to me being that i was and i was and used to be the one that wakes up to pray by 12 midnight and for some time now my prayer life had gone cold so when she voiced it out i told her i will join her since then i have been following the command day midnight prayer I had this testimony sometime in February, but did not testify. On one of the nights, the servant of God reiterated the need for us to testify of God's goodness and marvelous acts in our lives. That by not testifying, paraphrased, we are withholding God from doing more. I was moved in the spirit to write out my testimony because I know the Lord is not through with me yet. And I will not want to be the one to prevent further blessings in my life. The first testimony is that my prayer life has been revived. Secondly, sometime in 2019, I attended one of, this, of my siblings' um, wedding, and I ate food, just like everyone that attended did. The following day, it became difficult to use the toilet. Whenever I tried to excrete, I felt a sharp, a sharp pain from my lower abdomen. As I kept trying to, the pain shifted to my anus. On the third day, it became serious. My wife asked that um, we go to the hospital. I declined, being that I was imagining how I am going to be operated upon. However, I started applying the anointing oil to my anus. In the process, I started feeling a sharp object. To cut a long story short, I decided to do a physical traction with the aid of forceps. I pulled out a piece of plastic. Wow. The this was the beginning of my ordeal. Wow. Ever since then, it became difficult to use the toilet. Whenever I use the toilet, it's as if there was a fresh wound in my anus. And this had been going on since 2019. It suddenly, suddenly turned to pile. The only way I could use the toilet to reduce the pain was to apply, apply penicillin. On one of the fateful nights, in the month of February 2024, just some few days after joining this amazing altar of prayers, I had a testimony of someone who got healed of pile. Immediately, God's servant made a declaration that anyone watching now with the same condition is healed in the name of Jesus. And I answered, Amen. Brethren, lo and behold, I woke up the following morning and used the toilet with ease without any pain. I did not say a thing about it to my wife because I wasn't really sure. However, I stopped using the penicillin. A week later, 
I told my wife, now I go to the toilet anytime I want and without being scared. I do not take these for granted. I know shortly more testimonies are coming my way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, son, ma, for this great service to mankind. More grace, more unction, and to the commanded day midnight prayer crew. God bless you all. Wow. Give the Lord a big clap and a praise for that mighty, mighty miracle. Father, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. Our first testimony is from Franski M. from Brazil. Shalom, sir and ma. My wife and I and my son have been watching the Commander Demina prayer from Brazil, but we are Haitian refugees. Oh. I have suffered since 2015 with a problem in my left ear. As we have a lot of financial problems, our main request during the personal supplication was always for financial breakthrough. But I am surprised that the problem in my, my left ear is now completely gone. I don't know on which of the days precisely I received the healing of my ear because we were so focused on the main request of financial breakthrough. God bless you so much, Sama, for this program. May God continue to protect you and your family and ministry. Glory to God. From Haiti, refugees in Brazil. Yes, sir. What a wonderful God in South America. Yes, Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Finally, in this segment, goodness, Shiloba from Abuja. She said, above only that is my place. Good evening, Commander Day Midnight Prayer family. I'm here to return all glory to the Most High who has proven he knows, my knows me by name. I have suffered from seizure for, for nine years now. This started immediately after my West Africa Examination Council exam in 2015. After I had a dream where I, my dad, and my siblings were, going, were given a last meal. I'm buried alive. And when I woke up, I felt empty like a ghost. I went as far as asking my classmates if they could see me or if they were just hearing my voice. But they said they could see me clearly. I even asked them to beat me, but I wasn't feeling any pain. And when I came home, a few weeks after the dream, I slumped. And that was the beginning of seizures. Which has, dis which has disgraced me even on the church altar during ministration, on the road, in lecture halls. It has made me lose so many jobs and even sent me home from um, Edo State during my National Youth Service Corps camp in 2021. How I graduated with a second class upper division from the university, even in this crisis, is still a miracle to me. I stopped going to church the day it happened to me during a Sunday service. I left church completely hopeless, saying my, to myself that if this could happen to me in God's presence, then there was no hope for me again. Fortunately for me, a friend pushed me to attend the crossover night at Dunamis, where I heard the commanded day midnight prayer, where I heard of the commanded day midnight prayer and decided to join and invited my family and friends by posting the link on my status, status every day. On April the 2nd, 2024, my mom called and shouted, God has remembered you today. That pastor mentioned my name or mentioned her name now. And I smiled and I said, uh, said to her, I actually didn't join. And she begged me to rewatch, which I did immediately. Pastor mentioned my name and told my story exactly how it happened. And I shouted, God knows me by name. I strongly believe my help has come. The end of heat seizures is now. God bless you, Sanma. God bless Commander Day Midnight Prayer Crew. Attach our results and also declaration, clip, and pictures of, of, of bruises she sustained from those attacks. Oh no. Father, give a visitation to goodness. La to se perota sana kalayatina dos pora. John telite frena kalayatani sokokolara tasi. The pit they dug for you, you'll not be buried inside. You have seen yourself and seen a pit that they dug like a pit of death. You will not be buried inside goodness. You will not be buried inside goodness. And I prophesy to everyone here, connected around the world, every pit of death they have dug for you. Those who dug it shall be buried inside.
I see somebody standing behind the coffin and they're asking you to enter. I said, that is with your eyes open, with your feet on the floor. I declare today, those who put that coffin there, they shall be buried inside that coffin. Give the Lord a big clap. That was the beginning of her terrible ordeal with everything, with death and with seizure disorder. Let's celebrate the King of Kings, somebody. Let's go. Go, 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 go. And I believe that somebody is coming back here with your own testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's take a look at a few more testimonies in this. Um, interesting. Let's take a look at a few more testimonies. I'd like to encourage you to wake up your friends, your loved ones, your neighbors. Tell somebody God is doing amazing things. Thank God for goodness. Thank God that goodness is mother. Watch the commanding the day midnight prayer and told her to watch it and her word came and seizure disorders of nine years from satanic origin was terminated. Let's wake our friends and our loved ones up and let them be a part of what God is doing. Let's take a look at more testimonies. If Fai Ikyoku from Kaduna says, greetings commanding the day midnight prayer family. He wants to appreciate God for demolishing mountains in his business. Last week was a little challenging and he always, uh, he always felt a presence in and around his business premises that wasn't godly. And he kept on rebuking that presence until last night. God's servant brutally declared the demolition of mountains that had been written uh, on a piece of paper, um, he was led to burn the paper, believing passionately for his deliverance. Hey, today in his business, God showed up and there was massive sales. He's so grateful to God. Thank you, Jesus. He prays for more grace on God's servant, Pastor Paul Enenche and Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche. And may the oil of God on your lives never run dry in Jesus' name. Yaniwura from Nasra State says, Good evening, commanding the day midnight prayer family. He never realized what God did for, his, for, her, for her son until when a woman testified on how God healed her daughter of sleep apnea. Ever since she gave birth to her son nine years ago, she discovered that her son's breathing was abnormal. He was taken to hospital. The doctors observed and prescribed a strong antibiotic, augmentine, at two weeks of age. Kai, less than one year 
Later, he was treated for pneumonia at eight months, but to no avail. They were transferred to an ENT specialist. Series of tests were conducted, which showed that the lungs were infected and needed to be operated on when he clocks three years old because he's 10 to 11 months old. The abnormal breathing usually subsides whenever the weather is hot and becomes worse during raining season and hamatan season. He managed it, they managed it till last year, November, when she joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. She always keyed into all the prophetic declarations from this altar, which worked for her son. His breathing is now normal, in and out of any weather. Right now, the weather is so cold, and he's presently not wearing clothes. They've come to say, thank you, Jesus. May God reward all your secret and open labors towards liberating mankind. God bless you richly. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. God is healing your family, your brother, your sister, your loved ones. In Jesus' name. Amen. Gabriel O.C. from Adamawa State says, Above only, that is his, my place. He joins the commanding the day midnight prayer on the 4th of February, 2024 by a sister, Esther and Willika, who kept on calling and sending him the link every day. He's above only brothers and sisters. Stagnation, setback, failure, disappointments have been his other names for years. He's a furniture designer, and he has a lot of boys learning um, work under him. But at a point, jobs stopped coming. Most of his boys left him. Things were so bad to the extent that he had to go back to some of his boys. What? And be working under them just to feed his children. This had been going on for many years now. But after commanding the day midnight prayer last night, this was what he saw on his window. The power of darkness was checked back to hell, and he knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that he has received his deliverance. God bless you, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche and Dr. Becky Enenche, for your sacrifice. May this oil never run dry. The picture is attached. Wow. A witchcraft bat found dead in his compound. Somebody give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. In the name of Jesus, every satanic spirit after your life is set on fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Mr. J.B. from the U.S. says, years ago he received a devastating diagnosis that he was hepatitis B positive, which had a negative impact on his academic career. He was really saddened at the time and started asking himself questions when he got this news. However, he's been praying through this altar and hearing our father's declarations. On Friday the 8th slash Saturday the 9th of March, his word came. Pastor said, hepatitis is cleared out of your system. After hearing the good news, even though it wasn't his name that was mentioned, he still received it by faith. That's very, very wise of you, Mr. JB. Pastor has said that what God says to one, he says to all. So go ahead and receive every word that pertains to you, whether it's your name called or whether your name was called or not. So I continue reading. He screen recorded the session and cried out to God, covet, uh, God of covenant, saying, at the end of the month, he's sowing a thousand dollar seed in the building project. And after he heals him, he should also use him as a healing evangelist to send his healing power throughout the United States and beyond. He had a checkup on Monday, the 11th of March. And lo and behold, on the 14th of March, he received the news of the test which was non-reactive. That is negative. Somebody shout, hallelujah. 
He's really grateful to God. May God richly bless you, son, ma. Pastor, please declare into his life. He wants God to use him mightily in the U.S. to send his healing power across everywhere. He's still a student doing his Ph.D., but he let God use him. The declaration and the test results are attached. Wow. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Bigger, bigger clap and a loud shout of praise. Are we there? Can we proceed? As, all right. Father, Be thank you for healing high center of that liver disease. He, clearing hepatitis out of the system. I declare it is cleared out of your life. Go to the laboratory today. Check yourself and confirm yourself cleaned out of that affliction. And everyone here watching, the same God who said it to him is saying it to you. Hepatitis is cleared out of your blood and return back to hell. It's from another person's testimony. Let's celebrate. Hepatitis. You are, you are Clap and a lot of shout of praise. Wake somebody up again and let them know. I met a general today who brought notebook out of all the declarations that they make every day. He writes all of them. You say yesterday you made about 34 declarations. And he showed me page by page. So wow. He said, please, sir, if you stop this commanding the day, many people will suffer. He's not a member of this commission. Many people will suffer. Please don't. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. Whether the declaration applied to him or not, he wrote all down and told me the number. Hallelujah. Wake somebody up. I believe that it is your, our season to break the head of the devil. And to fulfill our destinies. Amen. First John chapter one, 5 and in verse 4. The Bible said for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Lift your voice and say after me. Say Father. Father thank you. Thank you. For, consistently for consistently giving us, giving us victory, victory through faith. Through faith over, the over the agenda of the enemy. Of the enemy. In, in and around, and around our, lives. our lives. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. In, the in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Father thank you for consistently giving all victory, victory through faith over the agenda of the enemy in and around our lives. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord has had an answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, Amen. Nehemiah chapter 3 and verse 17, he said, the Lord God in the midst of you is mighty. That is our testimony. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, 
for God was with him. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for causing us, causing us to experience, to experience another, dimension another dimension of the manifestation of, the manifestation of your almightiness, of the almightiness in our midst, in, our in miracles, in miracles signs, signs, and wonders and in this season. Be glorified, glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for causing us to experience another dimension of the manifestation of your almightiness in our midst, in miracles, in signs, and in wonders in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Father, thank in jesus precious name Amen. the lord heard and answered us in jesus name Amen. lamentation 337 the bible said who is he that said it everybody read it with me want to go who is he that said and it come to pass when the lord commanded it not ecclesiastes 314 says I, I know that whatsoever god doeth it shall be forever no devil can add anything to it or take anything from it and god doeth it that men should fear before him. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, bring we bring into instant into defeat, defeat and failure, and failure any, agenda any agenda of the enemy, of the enemy to, undo to undo what you are doing what in, our in our midst. We enforce their perpetual, perpetual failure, Lord, failure, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Father. <laughs> We bring it to instant defeat and failure. Every agenda of the enemy to undo what you are doing now is to enforce the, their perpetual failure. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bring it to instant defeat and failure. Every agenda of the enemy to undo what you are doing now is to enforce their perpetual defeat. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Judges chapter 14, verse 5 to 6. Then went Samson down and his father and, and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he tore it to pieces as he would tear a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with, the with the might of the Spirit, of the spirit to, tear to tear to pieces, to pieces every adversary every from the pit of hell. Of hell. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say it loud and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with, the with the might of the Spirit, of the spirit to, tear to tear to pieces, to pieces every adversary every from the pit of hell. Of hell. Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. Every adversary from hell coming against you and me today, they are torn to pieces. Amen. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 8. He said, for this is the day of the Lord's vengeance and yes. the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. 
Jehovah will answer for you Amen. with vengeance today. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of the Lord's vengeance against, against the, enemies the enemies of the Lord and of his people in this season. In this season. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as my day as my of day. the Lord's vengeance against, against the enemies against of the Lord and the enemies of my life in this season. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Jesus' precious name. Amen. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I know the thoughts I think toward you, say the Lord. Thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you an expected end. And in Psalm 23 and in verse 5, he said, The Lord prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My, he anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take delivery of, all of all that you have, that you have in, mind in mind for my life, for my life and, destiny. and destiny today, Lord, today, Lord in, the today, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and take full delivery Amen. of all. <laughs> In Jesus precious name Amen Today is your day of salvation Amen Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 Read it with me One to go for he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. He has heard you in today. Say after me, say, Father, thank you for hearing me in this accepted time. Thank you for hearing us in this day of salvation. We receive our answers from your hands, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, thank you for hearing us in this accepted time. Thank you for hearing us in this day of salvation. We receive our answers from your hands, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 94, verse 1, all the way to verse 2. Read it together. Everybody want to go. Oh, oh Lord God, Lord, 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 to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh, oh God, God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. 
Lift up thyself. Thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. God will reward the wicked today. In Job 20 verse, verse 4 and 5. Verse 4 and 5. Want to go, everybody read. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, we ask that you render a reward to the proud and the wicked. Cut short their triumph and the triumph of their wickedness. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Father, we ask that you render reward, a reward to the proud and the wicked. Cut short their triumph and the triumph of their wickedness, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask that you render a reward to the proud, a reward to the wicked, cut short their triumph, and the triumph from their wickedness, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord had an answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 126 and in verse 1 all the way to verse 4, when the Lord turned again, everybody read it together with me, one to go. When, when the Lord turned Lord again the captivity of Zion, we were, were like them that dream. Then, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O oh Lord, as the streams in the south. He's turning them already in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 97 and in verse 3, one to go. A fire coiled before him and burned up his enemies round about. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, we ask for the release of the fire of your judgment on every evil, satanic, altar of destruction, evil report, bad news, sorrow, depression, destruction, disease, or death. We declare them destroyed by the fire of the Spirit, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we ask. Ask for the release of the fire of your judgment on every evil, satanic altar of destruction, evil report, bad news, sorrow, depression, destruction, disease, or death. We declare them destroyed by the fire of the spirit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. First Kings chapter 18 and in verse 46, the Bible said that the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab to the en entrance of Jezreel. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that your hand, your hand will come upon me today, today and break, and break every, spell every spell of stagnation, of stagnation or, delay or delay in my life. In my life. I, receive I receive drastic speed, drastic speed and, acceleration and acceleration to step into, to step into new, new dimensions. Dimension. Oh, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, I ask, I ask that, that your hand will come, will come upon, me upon me today, today and break Every spell, Every spell of stagnation, of stagnation or, delay or delay in my life, in my life I, receive I receive drastic speed, drastic speed and, acceleration and acceleration to step into to step new dimensions. Dimension. Oh Lord, oh, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Shut up, 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 shut up
In Jesus' precious name. That spell of delay is over. Amen. And that spell of stagnation is over. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 2 for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that every delay, that every delay vision, vision of, my life of my life begins, begins to, speak to speak right now, right now in, the in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, ask I ask that every delay, that every delay vision, vision of, my of my life begins, begins to, speak to speak right now right in Jesus' name. Jesus Go name. ahead and speak to <laughs> In Jesus precious name Amen. the vision shall begin to speak Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Acts 16 14 the Bible said and a certain woman named Lydia seller of purple of the city of Thyatira which worship God heard us whose heart the Lord opened and she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. See after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you open, that you open the hearts, the, hearts, the, eyes, the eyes, the ears, the ears of, the multitude, of the multitude in our territory, in our territory to your acts, in, in our midst, unto salvation, to salvation and, discipleship. and discipleship in this season. In this season. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, we ask, we ask that, you open that you open the hearts, the, hearts, the, the eyes, the, eyes the, ears the ears of the multitude, of the multitude in, our territory, in our territory to your acts, to your acts in our midst, unto salvation and discipleship. I appreciate it. It is a law in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Wave your hands and give him the praise. Let's go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Let's go. Wake your brothers, your friends, your loved ones up as we approach personal supplication. Let's go. This is my season of increase. I am lost in your love. Your mercy and your forever. Jehovah, I go not. This is my season of increase. I am lost. Your mercy and your forever. Say Oh, you know the blame, you know the doom. 
may be clap and a lot of shout of praise. Be seated in the presence of the Lord as we make progress in taking further testimonies and then we shall be proceeding. Wealth David from Italy. Good day, commanding the day, midnight prayer family. I'm here as a recipient of the goodness of God in my life. I've been waiting for a perfect time to share this testimony. But how the senior pastor urged us saying, you have testimonies of what God has done and you are sitting on, on it and expecting another. Share the one God has done first. Paraphrased. My mom has been sending me the command the day midnight prayer link, but I did not join until November 16th. The one of the nights, the senior pastor mentioned cases of lymphoma. Wow. It all started in 2021 when I was in Nigeria. I had a seemingly harmless growth on my inner thigh that I overlooked because it wasn't inflicting any pain. But then, it increased in size. And then I started losing weight and sweat a lot. My feet were swollen and I would shiver at night uncontrollably. In December of that year, I came back to Spain where I was diagnosed of, as having lymphoma and I underwent chemotherapy. That's cancer really, literally there. Lymphoid cancer. Since then, I've been trusting God for a clean bill of health until my case was mentioned during Commander Day Midnight Prayers of the date mentioned above. After the case was mentioned twice, the hospital asked me to come for some tests, which I went for. But since then, they've not called me to come for any treatment. I've reached out to them several times, asking if all is well. But all they will tell me is, Todo esta bien, meaning all is fine. <laughs> and they wouldn't say more than that. I've come to give God a praise for, my, for his healing. I am taking their silence as an answer. That I am healthy and healed. And all symptoms are also gone. He alone is worthy of my praise. Give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise. In the name of Jesus, he is worthy of praise. Healed of lymphoma. Everything that is life-threatening in your body is cleaned out right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Olajumo came from the UK. Above only that's my place. One night, I was scrolling through WhatsApp status. And I saw commanded him in my prayer on the status of my former co-worker Samuel. I clicked the link and since that day, I've become a member, always joining and anticipating. For the past one week, I've been having all sorts of strange dreams, seeing my dead grandmother being chased by a big serpent, trying to open the door only to realize a big snake is inside the door, outside the door, getting lost in a bush and many more. Many times I wake up, I'll see razor marks on my face or my, on my arms. I had a good relationship with my co-workers at work until a new woman was employed last year. Suddenly, the peaceful workplace became toxic. Only one Jonah is enough to counter bad day, to just scatter everything. Always gossiping, painting me bad, complaining when I've done nothing to her. I tried avoiding her. I don't respond, but the gossips, gossips conspiracy, and many more continued even getting to my, my team leader's attention. It seems she was recruiting other staff members to say terrible things about me. I've continued to work in this toxic environment for, for the last one year because they gave me a certificate of sponsorship. And I have four more years to go. Oh, Lord. While I was watching the prayer last night, 17, 17th April, I suddenly slept off only to wake up as a prophetic declaration started at the servant of God. Paul and Enche took authority over the bad dreams and he even mentioned it later my first name. Oh, my name is Olajumoke. Olaj after that, he then took authority over the razor marks on, on the hand. I thank God for granting me the victory. Picture of the, of the arm and the declaration video attached. Excellent. Go on. Yes, go on, declaration. Hallelujah. Declaration is not there, right? Mrs. Rose A.N. from Kaduna, above only that's my place. I'm among those sitting on their testimony and still expecting more. Wow. So we have many in this category. All right. Still expecting more from the Lord. May God have mercy on me in Jesus' name. October 2023, I was confirmed pregnant and diagnosed with ovarian cyst. The pain was too much. After examination, a gynecologist suggested that both can coexist, but I will have to deliver through CS. Since October, I couldn't take normal water, not to talk of cold water. 
Warm water is what makes me comfortable from stomach bluffing. Therefore, I move the water flask wherever I go. I kept trusting God for my healing and during the commanded day, I mean, I pray on the 21st of March, 2024, during the declaration, God's servant was calling names like Secundus, Donny, etc. These names mentioned didn't sound like names from Kaduna, so I said, Daddy, you are in Kaduna State. <laughs> May God also reveal Kaduna State names to you. When you are back to the glory dome, may God continue to reveal the other order of names. People of God, I was the fifth person God located that night. Pastor now says somebody is healed of ovarian cyst. You've been praying and asking the Lord to deliver you from this ovarian cyst condition. Tonight is your night. Rose in Jesus' name. <laughs> I screamed the amen. After the prayers, I took the communion with a thanksgiving offering unto the Lord. God is faithful. I am healed. From that day, I can now take cool water. No more stomach bloating. Praise the Lord. I'm coming back with the testimony of my safe delivery. In Jesus' name, amen. To the vessels of God, to the vessels God is using on, the, on this prayer mountain, the Lord will water your lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Declaration attached. Somebody is healed of ovarian cyst. You've been praying and asking the Lord to deliver you from this ovarian cyst condition. Tonight is your night rose in Jesus' name. Every other person in that condition, receive your healing right now. Yeah, you are in Kaduna State. Mention our names. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. It's gone forever in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Mr. I from Lagos, greetings. To my commander, the Minai prayer family, the God of wonders has done it for me on this altar. August 2023, I had an abdominal surgery where a tumor was removed. I was asked to do a series of follow-up tests, blood, urine, excrement, CT scan of chest, pelvic region, and abd abdomen colonoscopy to certify that there were no residues in the body. I did the first test, which was urine, blood, and excrement. While waiting for the results, I presented my case on the commander, the Minai prayer altar on December 27th. 2023. Senior Pastor Dr. Paul and Enche declare that those waiting for medical test results shall receive a clean bill of health. I said amen and proceeded to trust in God for the results. The first result came out perfect. Secondly, I had a positive HPV, human papilloma virus test, two times. And also did a corposcopy. The doctors recommended a procedure to be done on the cervix to arrest the growth of bad cells in that region. I brought this again to the altar, reminded God of the declaration of his word on December 27, 2023 for a clean bill of health through his servant and also keyed in on the testimonies of people that did a second test. After senior pastor's declaration that SS will turn AA and hepatitis positive will turn negative. This came to pass and people testified. Armed with this knowledge, I included it on the list of things I do not want to cross over into April with as a senior pastor. Dr. Paul and Nature instructed that we should write and present it during the March Worship Water and Wonders Night. I conducted a second test in a different hospital for pap smear and human papilloma virus test. All these are dangerous things pointing to cancer of the cervix. Brethren, on the commanding the day of March 24, my word came very accurately. God's servant declared that I saw one with HPV, human papilloma virus, the test and perhaps may have been conducted and the doctor said the service is suspicious and the person is afraid of cervical cancer. But in the name of Jesus, HPV is flushed out. Cervical cancer is cancelled and the suspicious service is annulled. I froze and just dropped on my knees as this was so accurate. Hey! He can't, he can't, he can't. This means fire, fire, fire in my dialect. The HPV result came out and no HPV was detected in my body after two years of testing positive to the virus. Human papilloma virus cleaned out. It's almost as good as HIV clearing out. Just like that. Fiam! It disappeared by a single word. I sent the result to the doctor who conducted the first one and he responded that God is at work in my life. And proceeded to say that the procedure will no longer be required. Thirdly, I did a follow-up CT scan on my chest, abdomen, pelvic region. And the result came out perfect. Although the doctor said the lining of the colon on a certain part is a bit thick. Maybe as a result of scaring, as it doesn't look suspicious. 
but that they will confirm during the colonoscopy. During the April six Sunday service, the servant of the Lord declared that we shall have good news that week. I keyed unto it and said aloud, Amen. I did a colonoscopy on April 12th. Same day, God answered my prayers and the doctor said, there is nothing found in my colon and the walls were perfect. Can you give the Lord, hey, this God is good. Thank you, Jesus, for the clean bill of health and these results are permanent till eternity. God is indeed on this altar and answers all our prayers. God bless you, Sanma, for this platform of fire. God bless all the crowd that make this happen. Above only, that is our place. Amen. Only one person, cancer, I mean, tumor of the colon, and also cervical cancer queried. Only one person. But God cleaned both out. I don't know what the devil has put in your body or your system. They are cleared out now. Show us the pictures. Previous test results. Atypical squamous cells. All right, so smell preparation is adequate. It shows predominantly superficial and intermediate cells. Few have increased nuclear cytoplasmic ratio and regular nuclear membranes. So it's atypical. Squamous cells of undetermined significance. HPV DNA detected. And this was negative for HPV 16 and 17. Previous test results and the current test results. HPV type 16 not detected. PCR HPV type 18 not detected. HPV type 45 not detected. Other HR, HPVA, not detected. Other HR, HPVB, not detected. Everything not detected. Give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise. What a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Declaration. Somebody has been healed of human papilloma virus infection. It has been confirmed and you are afraid of cervical cancer. As a matter of fact, they have done some pap smear and other tests and they are saying the cervix is suspicious. Suspicious cervix. I stand here by the mantle of God to delete that diagnosis. Human papilloma virus is cleaned out of the system. Cervical cancer is cancelled. Diagnosis of suspicious cervix is nullified. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. A bigger, bigger, bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. Whatever the devil has wired in your system today is cleared out forever in Jesus' name. Let's go. We have some clips. I'm sure that we'll take very sharply and then celebrate and go into personal supplication. Let's go. My name is Ruth. I want to thank God that since when I have been following the commanding today, my prayer life has changed and I have the best result this day. I want to thank God for answering my request. And I want to thank for me and that for their prayers in my life. Has dropped in it okay. I want to give glory to God for this great and wonderful thing. Uh, commanding the day has been a very great thing in my life, or oh, it has really boost up my spiritual life, boost up my prayer nights. I really appreciate God and I want to say big thanks to daddy and mommy. May the oil on your head never run dry in Jesus' name. My my testimony is that it is on the um, my passport has been held back ever since since last year. But um, I've, um, go, I've gone for the renewal of my passport and then even though the people that we went together they have collected their passport and my home does not is not released so I was like what's going on so I went there January I went there February I went there March so they said it's not released I should just hold on so on the 6th of April Papa declared there's, there's something that belongs to you just like a something like a passport that belongs to you that it has been held back something of immigration office that belongs to you that I command the release of those things. So I receive it and I quickly throw a seed towards it. So I send it immediately to the immigration officer that was in charge. So I send it to him. I said, see, I believe in this um, prophetic word that my passport has been released. So I'm expecting you to call me for the res uh, for the collection of my passport. So yesterday on the 16th of February, he called me that I should come and collect my passport on today. I went to the immigration office and collect my passport. This is my passport. This is my evidence. I want to give God all the praise. I want to give God all the glory for the release of my passport. So I want to say big thanks to daddy and mommy. May the oil on your head never run die. And to everyone in charge of the commanding the day group, I want to give thanks to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you, ma.
Praise the Lord, family. My name is Priscilla Ode from Kano State. Ever since I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, it has been from one level of glory to the other. My prayer life has increased so drastically. Praying at night has been a struggle to me. But ever since I joined this platform, my prayer life has increased. God has helped me. God has so marvelously helped me. I kept on having dreams of death, dreams of seeing people, um, my family that, that have died in the dream, keep on seeing myself in better ground. When I joined the altar, I said this is the first thing I want to be settled on this prayer altar. God did it for me miraculously. The, when I joined, the first declaration was about death. Papa declared about dreams of death. I received it. I said, Amen. And that was the last time it has been checked back to hell. Thirdly, I've been stagnated in my career. Ever since I graduated from school 2018, I haven't been able to get a job. Something has been working when I joined this platform. Papa said, I see hundreds of employment later. I said, Amen, casually. I wasn't praying about employment. I just said, Amen. That week, I got a job. I didn't apply for it. I did not apply for it. And this is not just any job. This is not just any job. God miraculously did it for me. Thirdly, my husband, I was noticing some, some very little marks on his body and all of that. Just wakes up and some kind of strange mark on his body. And I presented to the altar. Papa declared about it. Little marks, little marks. I said, Amen. And then I saw his seat to it. And that was the last time. God has been so awesome. I love it here on this altar. I love it. God is so gracious. Commanding the day midnight prayer has changed my life. It has changed my it has moved me from one level of, of glory to, to another. God has been so awesome. And I want to thank everyone who has made this prayer possible. May God reward you all in the name of Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Above all, that's my place. My name is Ubazi Pora Abuja, Nigeria. My mommy has been joining the commanding the day midnight prayer. I also joined her. Two days ago, ago I woke up with a very serious neck pain. I couldn't turn my neck. My, it was very, very painful. Yesterday, during the personal supplications, I told God that he should heal me of this neck pain and God answered my prayers now I can turn my neck I can turn my neck I can do anything praise the Lord God has healed me praise the Lord hallelujah thank you daddy and mommy mommy and commanding the day midnight prayer crew may God reward you and bless you amen amen they brought me a little boy today around two years about let's say two or three years old and they said that his own is to wait until it is personal supplication. The moment I lie down, he too will dive on the ground. <laughs> Stand up on your feet and let us celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You are Hallelujah. The God who can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth may fail. Shout of praise. Go on for the next 90 seconds, 30 seconds to appreciate, and 60 seconds to go ahead and present your supplications before God. Let's go.
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Please stand up on your feet and let us appreciate him. And, and receive the fulfillment of your vision and the dissolving of your delays. Lift your hands in prayers. Take the little on. I'll follow you. Take the little on. I will follow you. Take the little on. we give you the praise. Lift your hands high. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. In the name that is above every name, Jesus, the resurrected Lord. I pray for everyone on this altar. The hand of the Lord coming upon you is arresting that yoke of delay, that yoke of stagnation, that yoke of retrogression, that yoke of backwardness. In the name of Jesus. I decree right now, I announce every face failure of vision, everything that makes it look like God has not directed you or led you or spoken to you, I declare that failure is over forever. In the name of Jesus. The burning sensation on the right breast of that person, I declare that burning sensation is over now. Arrow of cancer, arrow of disease, out. Go to hell. In the name of Jesus, sent, set a sudden mental attack. I take authority over set a sudden mental attack. Who, whoever that is, throwing off your cloth. Shadagalayadaga with terrible, terrible, terrible talk. I declare that mental attack is over. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Winifred. I declare every arrow of the enemy against your life, against your mind, precious. I declare the arrow is retrieved and refired back to hell. In the name of Jesus, you will not have a mental breakdown. You will not have anxiety neurosis. In the name of Jesus. Let the 
business sector, I pray for a certain James. I take authority over the arrow of inferiority. The devil is trying to, the garment of inferiority, the low self-esteem, attacking your self-esteem. Especially in front of your family. I take authority over that situation that is making you look less than a man. And I speak to every man in that category. Every situation making you look less than a man. Oh, my heart is broken in the name of Jesus. God is releasing forward that life that has been halted. Life moving suddenly got halted. Now you are released to go forward. That poison, that charm, that stranger in the body that seemed like it's walking in the body is coming out of that body right now for somebody you are going to go to the toilet and that thing that is as if it's death that is walking in your body is going to come out of the system somebody tonight as you sleep it will fly out like a flying serpent in the name of jesus in our condition is getting healed right now in our fissure pile or oh, that's the inner fistula whatever they are i declare them dried up and healed right now in the name of Jesus, once again tonight, Jehovah is clearing HIV AIDS from the bloodstream of somebody, bloodstream of people. HIV is cleaned out. Hepatitis A, B, C is cleaned out. Human papilloma virus is cleaned out. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's right kidney is being healed right now. If you need a replacement of the right kidney, I declare, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, I see clots stained with blood, like a, a, a urination of blood or stooling blood that comes out on call. Or maybe a woman, I don't know, know what it is, but clots stained with blood. There is a bleeding that is staining the clot. I declare that bleeding is arrested right now. Unusual, abnormal, excessive bleeding. In the name of Jesus double vision you see one person is two you see two is four i take authority over the spell of double vision it is arrested right now in the name of jesus somebody is being delivered from pinpoint pin like sensation around the body like a spirit of madness i take authority over that pin like sensation get back to hell in the name of jesus the spirit of envy will not slow you down somebody's sales that had been booming beginning of this year courtesy of Commanding the day, prophetic declaration suddenly got slowed down. In the name of Jesus, I declare that slowing down by that demonic agenda is arrested right now. I declare the restoration of speed in the name of Jesus. Your testimony, no devil can reverse it. Any other person connected to this altar that the devil is slowing down, receive your speed back. The dreams of the dead, I take authority. Dead father, dead brother, dead relation, dead loved ones. I tikoko barata sananana. Some you saw that they were coming to call you. Let the fete reader. I declare that dream of the dead arrested right now. One of the people I'm talking to right now, there is a pin like sensation on your right eye. I take authority over that affliction. It's a sign to you that I'm talking to you. Among others, that dream of death is arrested. Return to hell in the name of Jesus. Somebody with a very serious concern over a loved one, a sibling, a brother, a sister, a loved one with a terminal disease, like a cancer, just battling with that. Tonight, God is seeing you and seeing your loved one and seeing your, 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 your family. Today, I stand by the prophetic and apostolic mantle of God. I curse that death to its root. You spirit of death, you will not take that man. You will not take that husband. You will not take that brother. You will not take that sister. You will not take that mother. You will not take that father. I curse you today in the name of Jesus. Return to hell. I declare a divine visitation tonight. That will confirm that that death is going is gone to hell in the name of jesus somebody's yellow eyes from a liver condition god is healing the liver and he's healing take a picture right now to show how yellow the eyes are right now and under the next for 24 to 48 hours it is cleared out in the name of jesus it is cleared out and you are whole in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. 
and every other petition you have presented before God, that it appears it has not been mentioned. You people should understand that I have consciously slowed down a bit on specifications of names. As I'm hearing a lot of people say, I was waiting to hear my name, I was waiting to hear my name. And I don't want everybody's faith to go on looking for hearing of names. Otherwise, you miss out completely. I don't want your faith to be hooked on I want to hear my name. But God does it for a purpose. There are people that he just had to do that for them. Just to let them know I know you. Just to let them, for some reasons known to him. Not everybody will hear their name and yet they will be healed. Or, and they will be delivered. So I want all of us to agree so that we can freely flow in that realm. Otherwise, we'll just slow down there so that we'll talk generally. Are you following what I'm saying? But one man just testified just now. How that somebody else's name was mentioned concerning hepatitis. And he received it from America. He just testified PhD. And then went and hepatitis is cleared out of the system. So I want to appeal to you. Let's not struggle. I was waiting. In fact, if a million people want their name mentioned, will the night vision finish? Will the <laughs> commanding the day finish? All right. That is, I, we don't know the number of people that are watching on Dynamics TV. Probably in millions. All right. And then you go to, the, to, to YouTube and all of that. And, and one million out of everybody say, I was just waiting for my name to be mentioned. Huh? That puts pressure everywhere. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So please, I want us to ensure that we just have our faith placed in God and whatever it is, even if the name wasn't mentioned and said, whatever you came here for tonight, receive your answer. Can somebody say loud amen? Whatever is strong on your heart tonight, receive your answers in the name of Jesus. And if you believe that, you shout the loudest say amen. You believe that, you shout the loudest say amen. You believe that, you shout the loud most say amen. Tomorrow night, oil of vengeance oil of vengeance and judgment you carry a bottle anything you want God to judge anything, any structure any system if it's a disease in your body you want judgment from heaven if it is a witchcraft human personality that must experience the vengeance of God if it is a situation now two things we shall do you will carry the bottle and number two you will write down the objects of the judgment and will present it tomorrow. Aside whatever things you are trusting the Lord for, it is oil of judgment and vengeance. And the God of vengeance will answer us by fire. Some judgments the other day, while we were dealing on judgment, by 2 a.m. We finished around 1, by 2 a.m. the witch, witch had already died in the village. That is before daybreak, we gave 24 hours. Before daybreak, that is what shall be happening. Overnight, things will happen. Involve, inform your friends. Involve your loved ones. And let everyone be connected. Hallelujah. Anywhere you are watching in need of surrender to Jesus, you want forgiveness of sins, place your hand on your chest and pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. From today I go forward ever and backward never. Thank you Lord for hearing me. And thank you for answering me. In Jesus precious name. Amen. You pray that prayer. Ensure that you give us details of yourself. As we place your names. Or receive your details and phone number. And then come in touch with you. Please before the end of this week. I need the data from here. To lay hands on these names. That we've received so far. On the um, commanded the midnight prayers. That's number one. Number two, inform all, all your loved ones. It's going to be a very brutal, judgmental night. Until Pharaoh was judged, Israel could not leave Egypt. There are judgments that, there are deliverances that are tied to judgment. That is what is going to be happening. Stretch your two hands. I pray upon your hands. The Lord multiply harvest to you. Fresh grace and help and mercy. What is yours from the north, south, east and west shall look for you in Jesus' name. You will honor God. Uh, details on the screen on how to give. Ethiopia crusade. Preparation is very, very aggressive. I did a clip for them, letting them know I'll be coming. Kenya crusade, all the same month, the same week. Explosive time in the presence of the Lord. Inform your friends and loved ones in Kenya and all of Eastern Africa. And we trust God for his help. The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' precious name. 2024. 
and above only. God bless you. See you later today with the oil of vengeance and judgment. Celebration. You are God and God alone. You do what none is can do. That is why on is God the most high. You are God and God alone. You do what you are God and God alone. You are God.